raging street eats. Super fun! It's great and it won't kill you. So Suzanne, it's coming up to the festive season. We've got Thanksgiving, we've got Christmas, and of course we have Chinese New Year. What are we going to make today? Very We're nice. making a Merry Kishmas. Today is rum balls, whiskey balls, bourbon balls, whatever you want to call Smell them. Smell those balls! Mmm! <laughs> We're going to start with two cups of mixed biscuits. You can use a nice plain biscuit, you can use cake. You can smash it up any way you want, repeatedly, or you can shove it in the blender for a couple of minutes. Oh yeah. God, this is just uh, rich tea biscuits. Just the best bourbon balls are half chopped nut and half biscuit crumbs. I'm going to go all crazy and go all C&H on you. Measure out your C&H. And now we're going to add the fun part. We're going to add the cocoa. And if you want it to go in nicely, you can get yourself a little sifter. Hey Suzanne, what the hell do we do next? Okay, we're going to sift that cocoa straight into the bowl. So just mix that up. And now for the really fun and easy part. Mm -hmm which is we're going to add a little bit of corn syrup or golden syrup, about a tablespoon and a half. You, what do you like? Do you like bourbon? Uh -huh. Do you like rum? Mm. Do you like brandy? Uh, my friend here requested bourbon. Don't use scotch. The taste would be disgusting, but Jemison's whiskey would be great. Half a cup of that. Mm. All right, mix it up. I'm drunk, but I'm learning at the same time. <laughs> it's like anti-school. Okay, so now we've let it sit for about half an hour, so it's um, kind of thickened up a little bit. Pinch a little bit off, uh -huh. roll it up, roll it in the powdered sugar, mm -hmm. put it away in a container, powdered sugar on top, mm -hmm. and then let it sit for a couple of days at least. If it looks a little dry, you can add some more alcohol to it. Here is one that I made with uh, bourbon. Now this is the second batch I made, which has a little bit of chocolate cupcake thrown in there. Mm -hmm. And it also has, um, what is it, what did I put it, rum. Rum. Yeah, rum, and also some nuts. So this is a richer, better taste. And with this mm -hmm. one, I used our second recipe. I threw in a little bit of melted butter because mm -hmm. I like to cook the cocoa thoroughly before I kept putting it in. Delicious. And that's in our recipe on our website, mm -hmm. www.beijingstreeteats.com. So, so that this could be like an after-dinner snack, do you think? Or it could be like if you're entertaining guests during the festive season. It could be your food, but walking around. It could be bit. breakfast. a little bit of eggnog. Yay! I am going to put the egg whites in this white bowl. Oh. Add two level tablespoons of sugar to the egg yolks. And I'm going to concentrate on beating the crap, beating the crap out of these egg yolks. We want them to have all of the sugar uh, dissolved into them and be thick and fluffy. Look at that. Isn't mm. that nice? And Beautiful. those are just the egg yolks with a bit of sugar in them. The sugar has dissolved. They're light and fluffy. We're going to mix in all the egg white. We're also going to add about a cup of milk. Okay. And I'm going to add that now. Really good eggnog. You take this and you put it away in the fridge after you've added the booze and you uh -huh. leave it there for about a week. About a half cup of Jim Beam bourbon. Ooh. I'm going to add a tiny hit of my homemade vanilla. And then I'm also going to add the half cup of... Captain Morrigan. Mmm. It smells really good. And I'm going to do this rather carefully. I'm going to fold in the egg white. And this I'm going to do by hand. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start beating this and you're going to carefully fold that in. Okay. How are we doing? Great. Our whipped cream is now making soft pink, so it's time for us to stop. And we're going to fold in the whipped cream to that. Oh, goody. Okay, if you've got a real live nutmeg. Yep. Grated on top. And Is it tradition in America where you're from to make a wish while you're doing adding the nutmeg? No, it could be though. And in Beijing Street Eats tradition, we don't have the proper glass, so we're going to make do with what we've got. All right. So there we go. Now we're going to add something very non traditional on the garnish. This is a jar of maraschino cherries. I drained out the crappy maraschino juice, filled it with rum like last summer, and I garnish things with oh. it. Oh. It's really good though. Oh, Look at cool. this. Red and green, never be seen. Thank okay. you. Bon appetit. Cheers, big ears. Yay, salmonella. Wow, that's pretty strong. Mm -hmm. So there you go, folks. 
That's our street eats for today. Really, really simple recipes that you can try at home. All of the ingredients are all easily available in Beijing or in fact any city in China and most supermarkets. And all the details are on the website. And you can see the address below. And give it a go, try it. And if you make your own version of traditional eggnog, take a picture of it and send it to us and we can show it off on our site, okay? Cheers, big ears. Cheers. Happy holidays, mm. whatever that might be. When you're hungry, you've got nothing to eat. That's the time for Beijing Street Eats. It's the place where you've got to go when you're feeling hungry and you've got no dough. I've got no dough. Say Christmas Here's the mask that you